You've probably heard of the Blue Zones, those five places in the world where people supposedly live the longest. Sardinia, Icaria in Greece, Costa Rica, Loma Linda in California, and of course, Okinawa. It's a great story, but there's a problem. Only one of those Blue Zones has been the subject of decades of serious peer-reviewed scientific study. The rest of them, not so much. In fact, they're more like magazine articles, very light on data and big on speculation. So today, let's look at why Okinawa is the only blue zone we can actually learn from and why it's misleading to treat the rest as if they're equally valid examples. In 1975, Dr. Makoto Suzuki, a Japanese cardiologist and gerontologist, he launched what became the Okinawan Centenarian Study, a detailed long-term investigation of why the people of Okinawa had the highest number of healthy centenarians per capita anywhere in the world. Over decades, his team conducted blood tests, they tracked biomarkers, collected medical records, and analyzed decades of historical dietary data, particularly from pre-war and post-war periods. They looked at not just what people were eating, but at how much and how these patterns shifted over time. The findings were published in peer-reviewed medical and nutrition journals and are still referenced today by researchers in gerontology, nutrition, and public health. What did they find? Well, the traditional Okinawan elders, those who were born before World War II, ate a high-starch, very low-fat diet centered on sweet potatoes, leafy greens, rice, beans, and minimal animal products. Their fat intake was under 10% of calories. They ate less than one serving of meat per week on average. Now, compare that to the rest of the Blue Zones idea, which was invented by a journalist, Dan Buettner, and popularized in National Geographic articles and later in books. It's a good narrative. He visited places with lots of centenarians. He looked at some of the general lifestyle patterns like social support, movement, and eating mostly plants, and he bundled them together as Blue Zones. But here's the catch. There was never a scientific study. It was anecdotal. There were no formal dietary surveys, no published blood work, no longitudinal tracking. It, tracking. In fact, even the claim that Loma Linda Adventists lived the longest of all the Blue Zones, that's not backed by any rigorous peer-reviewed comparisons. It's totally conjecture. It's just an assertion. The only study that looked at longevity found that the Okinawans, who ate the low-fat starch-based diet, they are the longest-lived humans on the planet. The rest of that about the people who are eating nuts or olive oil, living longer, total speculation by magazine writers. It's never been studied. So to be clear, the Loma Linda cohort has been studied by researchers at different times, but they're often lumped in with a much broader Seventh-day Adventist groups across North America, some of whom are vegan, some are vegetarian, some are not. So saying, you know, that Loma Linda lives the longest because of blue zones that's complete speculation. It's not a proven outcome of a specific diet or intervention. Why does this matter? Because many health influencers and even some doctors throw around the blue zones as if it's a settled body of, of science, and then they use it to justify all kinds of diet advice. That's ridiculous. If you're serious about health and about longevity, you need to distinguish between science, like Okinawa, and storytelling, which is what the rest of the blue zones are. So. Only the Okinawan data collected over decades with consistent methodology and rigorous standards, that tells us, that's the only one that tells us anything actionable with confidence about longevity. And what it tells us is this, the traditional Okinawan diet, not the modern Okinawa, which has adopted Western eating habits, but the traditional Okinawan diet, it's incredibly powerful for healthy aging. It's high in fiber, low in fat, plant-focused and light on protein. It's not trendy and it doesn't rely on any exotic superfoods or supplements. It's simple and it works. So the next time, you know, someone says the blue zones show that, you know, whatever claim they're making, remember, only one of those zones was studied like a zone. The rest, you know, they're interesting, but it's not science. Dan Buettner, he's probably the first to agree with me. If we want to learn how to live longer and better, Okinawa is still the gold standard. And this whole situation reminds me of the so-called French paradox, you know, the claim that the French have low rates of heart disease despite eating you know, lots of cheese and butter and drinking wine and everything. And people have speculated for years that maybe the wine is protective against heart disease. But it turns out 
the explanation was much more simple. The French have historically coded deaths differently than other countries, often listing as natural causes instead of heart disease. So someone could die from congestive heart failure. The French list that as natural causes. So when you compare that to countries using different reporting standards, you get a fake paradox. You get a statistical illusion, not a real finding. And that's exactly the kind of mistake we risk making with the blue zones. When we treat a collection of magazine stories and loosely defined lifestyle snapshots as if they're equivalent to rigorous peer-reviewed science, like the Okinawan study, that we're not doing science then. We're just repeating a narrative. And narratives can be very misleading when they're not backed by real data. That's my point today. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, give it a like, share it, subscribe for more evidence-based takes on nutrition and longevity.